Hey, what's up? Uh, it's Thursday again. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. I'm now finding out yesterday at 1 a.m. that it was St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bored and still a little sleepy. I just woke up and took a shower. So, um, I'm going to jump straight into the questions. Uh, let's see. Danielle, your question was, how would I feel about if I lived in Japan? Um, I would feel awful because I've always wanted to go to Japan during their cherry blossom festival. All right. There's a certain town that literally goes through the old ways, and it, it's just, it's beautiful there during the Cherry Blossom Festival, and I w always wanted to go there. I'm screwed now! <laughs> uh, so I, I, I feel, I would feel awful, alright? Because my home was destroyed, I have nowhere else to go, and I, just, I would just, I would collapse right then and there with just depression. Um... Joe, you asked me, what do I do after a stressful day? Uh, dude, I'm a lazy guy. What don't I do? <laughs> it all depends on what I'm doing that day. If I'm working out and I come home, all I'm going to do is just lay down on my bed, watch TV. If I have enough energy, I'm going to go get something to eat. Um, if, like, I'm coming home from a day of school, all I'm going to do is just lay down on my couch, watch TV, eat something, uh, try to call something, just stay away from homework, you know what I mean? If I just had a stressful day, like, stress-wise, anger-wise, then I'm just gonna try to hang out with my friends. I don't care what we do, all I want to do is hang out with them. That's all I would ever do. Uh, let's see... Misa, your question was, what are the four things that I would grab, like, during an emergency? I would grab my laptop <laughs> uh, with the charger, because they're always hooked up, and they're always right next to each other, so that does count as one. <laughs> um, like, I would grab that because I need to for school. Uh, they... I need it for school. I can always get online if there's still another receiving area. Um, I can always, I can do a lot of stuff with my computer. All right. Uh, all I need is just the, the charger. <laughs> um, my second thing I would grab. I have a little uh, death note up in the corner. Um, hold on. Like right here. Yeah, I know it sounds cliche, but I would grab this. It's not only just like, it's not just because I'm a fan, it's because, well, I have numbers in there and I have certain words and stuff in there that just, it would take too long to all get back and I don't, I don't want to have to deal with that. All I want to do is like, it's basically my phone book with information. I don't want to have to re-get all that information. I don't want to have to find all those numbers again. A lot of them I know I can't find again because a lot of those friends left the country. All right. Um, another thing that I would take. Um, that's a hard one. Uh, I would try to take both my dogs. Uh, like try to take them with me. Which is weird because one of them weighs 80 pounds and the other one weighs 34 pounds. So... <laughs> I'm going to be carrying a lot, <laughs> um, but yeah, like, those are the four things that I would grab in this disaster. I want to find a way out herself. I know she can. She's almost never home anyways, so. She might not even be in the fire, or whatever it is, you know? Um, And I know that does sound harsh. Don't judge me. I just grew up without her. Uh, the most time I ever spent with her, like, when I was little was maybe 15 minutes a day, seven days a week. Uh, and this went on for two years. So I grew up without her. And like then again, she still was working. The only time she had off was while I was in school. And as soon as I got home, I found out she wasn't home. So it, this all stopped until I turned around 13, 14. 
and then I actually started seeing her. Mm -mm. I grew up without you. Might as well not grow up without you. You know what I mean? So don't judge me on that subject. That's just the way I am. That's just the way I, I was raised. I, I was raised without my mom. And I definitely was raised without my dad because he's dead. He's been dead since I was one. Uh, let's see. Kira, you asked what would I do before I die. I would hang out with all my friends. And I don't mean just the friends I hang out with on a normal basis. I mean every friend that I have ever made. I just want to hang out with them for one more day, you know? I just want to see their face, see how they're doing, know that they're okay, you know? Because this is the one thing I am afraid of, dying and knowing that my friends don't care about me, you know? Just dying knowing that my friends never even, like, wanted to know me, you know? Because... I, I just, friends are closer to family to me than my actual family, because the only person I have whose family is my mother, everybody else in my family actually hates me, so, yeah, like, my friends are my family, sometimes I do come off a little strong, and it's not because of anything like that, it's just because, well, I miss them, you know? But yeah, I, I would have one last day with them. That's all I would ever want. And just hang out. I don't care if we actually party or if we're just sitting down talking or we're just sitting down playing video games or whatever. I don't care. All I want is to hang out with them. That's all I would ever want. All right. Um, time to get into a subject. You know, I th I think from such a depressing thing and depressing week, uh, I'll tell a little bit of a joke. All right, and this will lead up into my topic. All right. All right. Girl asks her boyfriend, "Can I see your phone?" Got boyfriend's like, "Sure." Gives her her phone. All right. Gets a text. All of a sudden, it says. Hey baby, last night was awesome. She turns to him and says, Who the hell says it was awesome? Guy freaks out. It's like, oh, crap. Pulls out a Twix. Alright. She looks at him and says, Put that fucking candy away and tell me the truth. Who the hell said last night was awesome? <laughs> yeah, like, can you actually imagine one of those moments? Like, that that's something I would say, you know? Put the goddamn candy away, you know? Um, but yeah, like, why would, basically when you're watching that commercial and you're craving a Twix, I mean, you're a cheater, and cheaters never prosper, uh, but yeah, like, why cheat? Be happy with what you have, you know? There are people out there who don't have anything, not a love. Not a house, not even a meal, alright? Be happy with what you have and never take it for granted. Because if you're cheating on somebody... Alright, here. If somebody cheated on whoever they're dating for you, chances are they're going to cheat on you. You know what I mean? And I don't give a rat's ass. Cheating is not acceptable, alright? If you want to cheat... Cheat a cheater, alright? Don't cheat on somebody who actually does care about you, alright? There's no excuse, alright? And I told all my guy friends, if you cheat on one of my friends who's a girl, I swear to God, I'll kick your ass. I don't give a crap, alright? It, it's one thing just to break up from a mutual breakup, but if you cheat on them, or you do some stupid crap, alright? I swear to God, I will beat the crap out of you. Right? I don't give a shit. That kind of stuff is unacceptable. Alright? Alright, time for a good question. Um, I don't think I got one today. Oh, crap. 
Um, I don't want to ask anything about Japan because, like, I'm I'm trying to stay away from that subject, you know, because I really do love Japan and I don't want to talk about something that makes me sad, you know. Uh, excluding your family, like. Which one of your friends is the mo is closest to family to you? You know, you basically consider them family. All right, uh, it can't be anybody who is actually blood related to you or marriage related. All right, that is family. All right, I mean like your best friend or your neighbor or whatever. All right, uh, for me that has to be my best friend Mike. Dude's my brother. Seriously. He's the only guy who's actually ever understood me and cared about me, all right? Same with my best friend, Andre. The only thing is, he lives in Sacramento now, so I miss him. And my brother, Mike, he's in the Navy. He just left the country yesterday, so good luck to you, bro, all right? Right now, I don't know where he is. All I know he's out at sea and he's gonna be going to Afghanistan soon and the next time I'm gonna to get to see him is October so good luck to you bro I love you Andre get your butt over here I miss you <laughs> alright um yeah my question is out of all your friends who's like family to you